This is for my new podcast, David Rich Music, and guess what it's about? Yes, it's going to be about everything. I'll just check because I think that's how many a thing that isn't. It's going to be everything involved around music. Obviously, I'll mention my own music and how I do things. I'm going to cover things like um, songwriting, how to promote, how to get gigs, how to get the most from gigs. But it's not just about, you know, for musicians, because to be fair, the majority on my YouTube channel certainly are people that, that have uh, subscribed, thank you very much, by the way, um, and, and, and watch my videos, um, enjoy just generally looking and listening to music and see what's about there. So, you know, I would like to, to involve these people that just love music. So, you know, let me know what you would like to understand about music. Um, I want to know about, you know, what anyone that you've seen as well, anyone recently you've, who's seen some band or some solo, solo singer uh, that thought, wow, these are really good. You know, because I also want to feature and do, do um, have guests to talk with them and explore what they're, they're wanting to achieve with the music. And, and I also want to talk to ones that have been in the industry for some time and how they've managed to survive and keep going and change with the times because there's been some huge changes, absolutely massive changes. When I started out, oh, quite a long time ago, vinyls, no, it wasn't 78, I wasn't quite that far back, but I was vinyls, I used to DJ nightclubs uh, as well as starting my own singing, but, but I was mainly DJing and it's, DJing is trained incredibly from back then in nightclubs um humping all these records about but no i want to know i want to feature you know all aspects of music from those that promote music um and i will say this is a word of warning to many of you certainly new musicians that um most of them are bullshit all they want is to take your money um whether it'll achieve anything for you is is another thing now, don't get me wrong, I'm tearing all of them with the same brush there, and there isn't. There's some good ones amongst them. There's some that will generally do the good job for you, but, but it's hard to, to pick them. So, I want to actually come, I will interview and, and interview, <laughs> uh, but discuss, I'll get some uh, promoter, but I'll make sure that there's somebody that, that actually generally does the, the job for you, because you know the ones that you find that will do a logo, a logo, a logo. You do not need a logo. Anybody who can't make a logo on, go to Canva, which is free, and do a logo. You don't need to be paying somebody to do a logo. Or anybody, if you, especially if you're starting out, to be able to do a video, uh, a, a video or mixing or mastering your music. When you're starting, I think you need to learn the basics of all these things and be able to do them to yourself. Um, all these other things will come as you develop and, and become, I suppose, more professional and successful, then yeah, maybe you do need to step up to, to you know, involving professionals who do the mixing and the mastering and the, um, the video. There. But, you know, these are big outlays and it's not what you need to get going into build up to get a good following and to get a good number of people seeing your music and listening to your music even. So that's something we're going to look at. Also going to look at the um, the styles of music that has changed and they have changed. And, you know, although I, I, I still feel it's a bit, a bit of a letdown when you see, you know, bands that you think, wow, these are fabulous. But you see them live and you know they're cheating at it because, it, unfortunately, they all do it now. Um, a memory I've got is I went to see Simply Red, Mick Cognor, going back quite a few years, and he missed a note. And the fact that he missed that note, and he was so apologetic about it, but I thought it was fantastic. It, it told me it was real. He was, it was Mick Cognor, who's got the most amazing voice anyway. Um, we can all miss a note, and I think that's, you leave it in there. It doesn't matter. There's a few that can sing. You know, in today's, um, from today's artists, should I say, you know, the likes of Christine Aguilera and Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish is, a, you know, amazing voice, really, and uh, who's the one that really um, 
I was obviously a pretty one, I don't know, you, you, gosh, you can say how pretty she is. Um, Ariana Grande, yeah, she, uh, she got, uh, her vocals are amazing. Um, of course, there's Adele, and Adele, <laughs> said Adele as though she was, oh yeah, that, that little known star. Uh, yeah, Adele's fantastic, and I've seen her, seen Adele live, and she's great. Now, this is the thing, you know, most artists do use some things to boost, um, and autotune. You know, when they're doing it live, they, you know, they're not all singing as they should be. They're singing close to it because you can't get away, even with autotune, you can't sing a million miles away from the note that you're trying to get to. But, you know, if you heard them live, I think one of the good ones, there's a guy that's got a YouTube channel who, who highlights all these. Um, and he did a great one on Michael Bublé. Now, Michael Bublé can sing, and this is what the frustrating thing is. I don't know why his production team and his management, all the rest of it, feel he needs to be autocorrected. You know, I think, of course, he's going to be a little bit off at times, but they got it totally wrong on one of them. And his voice sounds like, you know, these, um, uh, was it Tupac, uh, the, the, you know, the real, real Vox type um, sounds. But um, no, so I'm going to look at things like this. There you go then, an introduction to my new podcast and I do want you to, to look out for it and listen because I say I'm going to get some interesting guests on. I've got some really good ones coming up um, which you might be surprised about, some quite well known ones and some not so well known ones. If you're one of those new artists or old artists as I've said and would like to feature and get bit of ex more exposure out there for yourself then get in touch with me go onto my facebook page and you can then find a contact uh, give some details and if you're interested and have a tough story to sell to sell to tell even get in touch and we'll have a chat and we'll do it online and people might find it interesting it doesn't matter what genre of music either um although i tend to sing myself obviously the, the soft ballady type songs um only because my voice is limited to that i'm not a rocker i sound ridiculous singing a rock song but um if you're a rocker if you're punk if you're heavy metal if you're country whatever get in touch because i want to really let people see what music is all about and what the musicians are about. So thank you for watching this far and I'll see you again shortly and look out for my new music coming up soon. Um, thank you very much for me, David Rich. Take care and have a good week. Bye bye now.